Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a quick review about the Seiko Prospects uh, SBDC029 uh, aka Seiko Shogun. Now it's available on eBay as this website is uh, showing on eBay for about $986. You can get it for slightly cheaper if you look around it might come in at a $900 mark or maybe $850. I got it in Japan, I actually bought mine in Japan and I got it paid 84,000 yen for it which roughly translates as $760 which is a really good uh, price cut, really good bargain. Um, if you're going to go to Japan anytime soon and you're looking to buy this watch then yeah, I would say save your pennies, go to Japan. But as you can see on eBay it's retailing for around the thousand dollar mark. You can get it for maybe a couple of hundred dollars less. Uh, okay. This is the watch, let's take a look at it, right, okay, so you got the, you got some of the instructions and the warranty here, international warranty, uh, instructions, uh, you got a rubber strap, I guess for the divers out there, there you go, so you got a very good rubber strap there, and also when I bought it, it came with a Seiko pen, <laughs> red, blue, black, and, uh, yeah, red, blue, and black, Seiko pen, always good to have, I wonder how much that is worth on eBay. Uh, here's the watch then, here we are, mm -hmm. okay, now everyone's mentioned about, anyone who has this watch or has talked about it will mention the titanium casing and uh, bracelet, it's really light, yes that makes it a really uh, interesting watch in my opinion. Uh, JDM model, made for the Japanese the best in market as you may, know, as you may well know. Uh, if you buy it, you're going to have to get it from an importer, a distributor from Japan. Uh, a lot has been said about this uh, titanium watch, the titanium casing. Um, I, I spent a lot, a lot of uh, time reading up on the forums about it, hearing some of the discussions. A lot of people are slightly, uh, slightly perhaps, um, shall we say, torn on what they feel about this watch. I think a lot of people have mentioned that they bought it then sold it again after thinking about it. Um, I would say I love this watch. I do I do like wearing it. It's very comfortable. Um, it looks good on the wrist. It's It wears quite big. I wasn't expecting that, but it wears quite big. It feels good on the wrist. Uh, is the titanium worth a thousand dollars? Is it worth the thousand dollar investment? It's the bigger question, I think. Is the titanium bracelet and the, the lightness of the watch worth a thousand dollars? And I think that's the big question. And I will have to say, um, as someone who has read up on a lot of the forums, as someone who did a lot, of, spent a lot of time searching, reading. I'm sure some of you are familiar with this, spending hours on end researching uh, to finally get the product on my wrist and to uh, take it home. How do I feel about it? I genuinely do like it. It's unique, it's a unique watch, uh, it feels good on the wrist, it's comfortable and I like looking at it and marvelling at the, the build quality of it. Um, I think maybe some of the, well, you know, this is purely subjective, but I feel as though some of the videos posted about this and some of the sort of comments have been made about it on some of the watch forums, slightly exaggerate, slightly exaggerate. Um, the properties of this uh, magical titanium bracelet and casing. Yes, it's light, and if you're a serious watch collector, you will be. You will. You will take a little bit of, uh, I guess, some somewhat of an interest in the titanium dye shield coating, and you will think to yourself, why doesn't? Why aren't all watches made like this? Well, I would say this much. Um, Yes, it looks like stainless steel. It looks like stainless steel. It feels like stainless steel, but one thing for sure, it doesn't sound like stainless steel. It's definitely got a certain bit more of a plasticky feel to the watch than um, yeah, than other dive watches. Obviously, because it's titanium and dye shield coating, then it has a different feel to it. You, it looks like metal. You pick it up, you look at it, you, you expect metal, you expect steel, you expect a, a sort of coldness to it. But it's actually, it feels, if anything, more plasticky than uh, metal, which I guess is the selling point. It's light, it's, it's supposed to look like, it's supposed to be metal, it's, it's supposed to look like brushed metal, but it's titanium, it's light, and it feels good on the wrist. 
Now the final question I'm just going to discuss here or mention is, is it worth a thousand dollars? Now of course, um, you know, a thousand dollars represents different things to different people. I understand that. Um, if you're someone who is a serious watch collector and you just need to have this on in your collection, fair enough, go for it. If you're someone who is uh, slightly on the other scale of the watch collecting um, community and a thousand dollars represents about, uh, <laughs> you know, a serious purchase in your books, maybe perhaps one of those uh, grail purchases or one of those sort of uh, 10 year plans you buy a watch every 10 years or so then maybe the thousand dollar investment is perhaps asking a lot for this watch I'm not saying that it's not a good watch I'm just saying that for a thousand dollars there are other watches that are perhaps as interesting uh, possibly possibly I would say um, more unique in, in certain ways and perhaps uh, a better more unique kind of design the one thing I could say about the Seiko Prospect range there is a generic feel about the way they they put out these Seiko Prospect watches uh, it's strange if you look at the Seiko Prospect line or any of the Seiko lines it's really hard to differentiate the difference between a $5,000 watch and a $50 watch Seiko uh, do not actually put a lot of their uh, money into the actual aesthetics of the design of the watch. I'm not saying that they don't put money into design. I'm just saying that basically a lot of the watches that are coming at the cheaper end sometimes look identical to the untrained eye to their most expensive watches. And this watch is uh, not different in that respect. There are a lot of watches out there that may look like this Seiko Prospects SBDC 029. The difference is it's lighter. The difference is the feel. Uh, so, from a personal perspective, do I like this watch? Yes, I'm very happy with the purchase. All I'm saying is, uh, for those of you out there who are uh, thinking about buying it because they want to experience the, the lightness of the titanium and know what it's like and feel that perhaps this could be the, the game changer watch that they've been hoping for, I would say, uh, maybe not keep looking uh, but my final thoughts like I said is I'm very happy with the purchase and it will sit happily in my collection and I hope that in years to come it's going to develop that personality that all the other watches seem to have uh, at the moment out of the box after two weeks I'm still debating on the serious merits of this watch uh, let me just put it on the wrist. All right, so those are my final thoughts. A thousand dollar watch, is it worth it? Um, you decide, you read up about it, you make your decision. Like I said, I'm not sure if the thousand dollar price tag is uh, justified, but um, I'll let you make your own decisions. Thank you for watching.